In this video, I'll show you how you can build your own project task manager in Notion that's not only functional, but really easy to use. There are many tutorials out there on how to build task managers in Notion, but I find a lot of them a little long, overly complex, and involve unnecessary properties that overcomplicate everything. So if you want to build a powerful task manager in a simple and efficient way, this tutorial is for you. Okay, we'll start with a new page and we'll title this task manager. We'll come to the top here and change it to full width. We're then going to add in two inline databases. We'll call the first one projects and we'll call the second one tasks. We're then going to delete the tags as we don't need these anymore. And then we will hide these titles and we'll give them uh, their own headers here. We'll call this projects and we'll call the next one tasks. We will first start off by adding properties to the task database. So let's come in here and we're going to click on select property. We're going to call this uh, type and we'll give this a little icon like a tag. So now we can add in different types of tags to our tasks. So let's click into add new option. Let's add in a few different tags. So maybe we'll add in an urgent, a to do. We'll add in maybe a meeting, email, read, write. And so now you can see we have uh, some tags for our tasks here. We're then going to add in a due date for our task. We're going to add it, we can call this due date. We'll add in one more property, and this is going to be a checkbox, and we're going to call this completed. We will then move the checkboxes to the far left here, and we'll shorten this up here. Let's now add in some sample tasks to see what this looks like. Uh, but before we do that, let's clean this up a little. Uh, what I'm going to do is come into layout here. I'm then going to wrap all columns and then hide the vertical lines. I find this just cleans up the table a little bit better and allows you to see everything much more clearly. Let's also come into new template here. And the only thing we're going to do is we're going to call this new task. And we're just going to give it an icon. I'm going to click on circle here. And we're going to come back. Now what we're going to do is click on set to default. And now every single time we create a new task, it'll apply this icon uh, to the task. Let's delete these here. For this demonstration, let's add a task and we'll call it write project report. Let's give it a type of write. Let's add in another one, email team meeting. And we'll tag it as email. Let's add in a new one, organize desk. Let's say this is to do. Let's add just one more. Next website. There we go. We'll call this project. Let's give our tasks a few dates. So let's click on here. Maybe we can write the project report by next week. Email team meeting. Maybe that's on Friday. Organize desk. Let's do that today. And then also fix website. It's really urgent. We want to finish that by the end of the day as well. Now to organize our tasks uh, a little bit nicer, we're going to come over to sort here. We're going to click on due date and we're going to sort by due date. By doing this, all of our tasks will show up in sequential order, showing us our most recent tasks first, and then the ones we have to do later at the bottom. Now it's time to add in some different views to our tasks. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rename this table, and we're going to call it All Tasks. Let's give it a list here. We're then going to add a filter. We're going to click on Complete, and we're going to click on Unchecked. And so this task view will only show tasks that are unchecked or incomplete. Let's add in another view by right clicking on all. We're going to click on duplicate and we're going to call this one completed. Let's give it a different icon, maybe this one. And we're going to change the filter from unchecked to checked. And so now every time we check on one of our tasks, it will move over to the completed view. Let's create two more views and we're going to title these today and this week. We're going to do this in the same way by clicking on duplicate and we'll call this today. We'll come over here, give this a different icon. Let's change the filter here. And we're going to add in another filter. Click on this, and we're going to click on due date. Here, we're going to click on start date is relative to today, this day. And so this will only show tasks that are due today. Let's move this over here. And we're going to add in one more for this week. We're going to duplicate it in the same way. We'll call it this week, give it a different icon. And then we will change the filter from due date this day to this week. There we go. All of the views for our tasks are complete. So we have tasks that show up for today. We have tasks that show up for this week, any completed tasks, and then all of our tasks that are unfinished. We're going to add in one more view for our tasks, and this is going to be a calendar view. So we're going to come over here and click on copy link. We'll come down to the bottom here and paste this over here. 
click on create link view. Let's click on all this time. And we're going to go to layout and click on calendar. For our calendar view, let's just show two properties. We're going to show type and then completed. And so whenever we can complete a task, we can come over to either the list or the calendar here and just check off one of our tasks. Let's just quickly change uh, the name of this view and we're going to call this calendar view. Change this here. And there we go. We are all finished for our task views. Okay, let's now begin by adding properties to our project database. The first one we're going to add is a due date. We're going to click on date here. And we're going to leave that. We're then going to add in another one and we're going to choose a status property. And so we have not started, in progress, and done. We can leave that as well. And now let's link up the tasks to the projects by using a relation property. We're going to come over here, click on relation. We're then going to select our task database, show on task. We're going to call this projects. That's fine. Let's do that here and give this an icon. We'll do circle. And maybe over here, we'll change this as well to a folder. Great. And now all of our tasks are linked to our projects. So if we click onto tasks here, we can see that our tasks show up. We're now going to add one last property, and this is going to be a progress bar. So let's click on plus here, and we're going to click on rollup. This rollup we'll call completion. Maybe we'll give it a check mark, and we're going to select tasks, and then we're going to click on property, click on completed, and then we're going to calculate percent checked. Let's come down here and give it a bar. There we go. So now if we added some of our tasks, we can see here that the completion bar will show up. If we complete some of these tasks, the completion bar will change. Let's delete these empty entries and we'll create an example. So let's click on here. We're going to call this website redesign. Let's give it a date. Let's go an end date. And we'll go from here, maybe to the end of the month. Let's tag some of our tasks. Maybe we got to write a project report, email team meeting, and then fix website. To make this projects database a little nicer, we're going to change this from table view to gallery view. We're going to click on gallery view. We're going to change page content to none. We're then going to come back here, click on properties. We're then going to show two properties. We're going to show the completion property and also the status property. I find changing the projects database to gallery view just makes it look a little nicer and just overall more aesthetic. Similar to how we did with the tasks view, we're also going to add a few views to the projects database. The first one we're going to do is change this to not started. We'll give this a different icon, maybe a square here. And then we'll come over to filter. We'll click on status and we'll click on not started. And so now this will only show projects that we have set the status to not started. Let's add in two more views. We're going to duplicate this here and we're going to call this in progress. Change the icon here. And then we'll change the filter from not started to in progress. And we're going to do this one more time by clicking on duplicate and we'll call this completed. Let's change this here and then changing the filter to complete. And so by adding these three views, we have a much better understanding of all of our projects. We can see here that if we change this to not started, it'll then show up as in progress. Let's now come into uh, our template here. We're going to add in a new project template. We're going to call this new project. Let's change this icon to a folder. Let's move around some of these properties and we're going to come over to our tasks property here. We're going to click on this and click show as page section. If we then come back to our website redesign and we apply our new project template, we can see we have our folder icon here and all of our tasks show up here. Now, one last thing we can do is we can show some of these properties. Let's go on to completed type and due date. Let's then move the completed at the top here and change the due date. There we go. And we can see all of our tasks show up nicely here. If we check off one of the tasks, we'll then see that the completion bar changes. The last thing we're going to do is add a timeline view for our projects. We'll come over to here and click on copy link. We'll then paste this in here and create a linked view. We're going to click on not started. And instead of gallery view, we're going to change this to timeline view. I'm going to click on show table. We're going to come back here and click on properties. 
and we're going to show the status and completion. Then we're just going to change the filter to show not started and in progress. This way, the timeline will not show completed projects. You can now see our projects uh, show up nicely here with three different views, in progress, not started, and complete. We have an easy way to visualize all of our projects with a timeline view. We also have a very efficient way of organizing our tasks by today, this week, completed, and all. And we also have a calendar view to get a bird's eye view of all of our tasks. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to download a free version of this template I made in this video, check the link in the description down below.